Well, good evening, folks. Here's another update from Volo slash Sefton Motors on the Volo One engine. Uh, tonight, what I want to talk to you about is to bring you up to speed on the status of things and how things are progressing, and also introduce the solar front end design that we've just uh, completed the overall design concept of. Kind of put it out there and see if uh, if there's any feedback any thoughts? Uh, are we headed in the right direction? Uh, There's no way this can work. Great idea. Whatever it might be, we'd love to hear from you. Um, what we're looking at is to improve the solar energy capture by combining both solar panels and uh, the heat engine for capturing energy from the sun. Uh, as you probably know, uh, solar panels are somewhere between 12 and 16 percent efficient and what that means is there's a given amount of energy in sunlight and as that comes into a solar panel only about 12 to 16 percent of that is captured and 16 percent would be the most efficient and there's about five percent of panels out there that fall into that mostly the panels are about 13% efficient, the vast majority, 85%. So, um, and the reason for that is it takes a certain amount of energy to knock those photons loose to generate electricity, and that's only available in the very short uh, or the shorter uh, wavelength coming from the sunlight. So there's a tremendous amount of energy that's not being used. Now, in the heat engine, once again, we have somewhere um, between 10 to 25 percent efficiency. But the heat engine, that uses typically the, the heat energy or can use the heat energy from whatever source, be it sunlight or whatever. So we've comprised a front end uh, for the engine that combines these two technologies. And what we've done is create a parabolic trough and lined it with solar panels and in the focal point of the parabolic uh, trough, we've placed the engine surrounded by an insulated glass box. Remember, we need about 350 degrees delta from the cold to the hot side for the engine to run. Now, <clears throat> if I look at the, um, the solar panel component of this, for it to work well, what we want to have happen is the visible light... Uh, lower frequency or lower wavelength um, uh, light to get into the panel and to have the uh, remainder of the energy reflected towards the engine. And what uh, we're looking at doing is basically putting a window film, uh, maybe like a 3M solar window film, on the solar panel. And as you can see here, I have a chart that just goes and shows some of the um, some of the solar heat gain coefficients and the percentage of visible light that's transmitted by this by these window films. And you can really dial it into whatever type of properties you want uh, for that panel to see. Now, of course, there would be some loss in uh, energy out of the panels, and we're not exactly sure if these numbers are going to translate one for one to actual wattage out of the panel, but uh, we think the combined effect will generate an overall higher energy capture from the, uh, from the sunlight. Um, <clears throat> the second portion of it then is a insulated uh, clear glass box around the engine and this will utilize some of the greenhouse effect uh, to trap the heat in around the engine uh, head and uh, help hold it there and um, provide the energy needed to run the engine. We're working with about, uh, in this model right here, four solar panels, and that's about 32 square feet of uh, collection area. We're, we're not sure if that's uh, enough, quite enough, with the amount taken in by the solar panels for to reach the one kilowatt output, but we do think we'll have enough to uh, get the engine to run and run at a speed where we're capturing uh, more energy overall from the sun than just with the panels or with the engine alone. And lastly, uh, if I look at um, the dimensions of this 
of this front end, I'm looking at about um, a 10 feet wide by about uh, six feet high by about five feet in depth. So really it's not that, uh, not that tremendously large and the engine does seem to fit in it rather well. The glass box is about a 40 inch, uh, 40 inch by 20 inch box. And uh, these panels on here are typical panels, but the ones we selected were, uh, were a panel, solar panel that uh, basically allows you to pass water through the back side of the panel. So in addition to the electricity, you can also be heating the water. And they are by, um, oh, I'm forgetting, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but they're a typical size 54 by uh, 20 at uh, 20 uh, 28 inches I believe it is in size and let me see if I do have the name of the panel the panel is power panel Inc and I believe they're made in Michigan if you can believe that Michigan does produce some great products anyhow that's the uh, that's the update I just wanted to give everyone a peek at this and get some feedback as to what you think of this particular design we have not built any yet we're just uh, sketching out the overall vision and um, how it would come together and what kind of materials to use and, and what kind of costs would be involved for making it. So once again, um, uh, that's the solar front end. Just to give you an update on some other items, we are uh, building engines and we have, uh, we're scheduled to get uh, two shipped here shortly and uh, things are going well and um, that's, uh, that's about it for this evening. Once again, thanks for all your support and backing and uh, looking forward to uh, getting the solar front end out there and available product uh, to purchase. Thanks so much. Good night.